In the cool of the day, when God had fellowship and walked with man, in the beautiful Garden of Eden, the devil deceived the woman and the man. Here is an exposition by Leslie M. John. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Genesis 3 8 KJV. It may have been very pleasant experience for man to have to listen to the words of God, when they conversed with each other, in the cool of the day, when they walked in the Garden of Eden. Bible does not say much about their fellowship, but from the details mentioned about the authority God gave to man over every living being in the nature, it can be inferred that they had very good fellowship. The epithet in the cool of the day used in the very close conversation between man and God shows us how much God loved his own creation, the man and the woman, who were called Adam and Eve. God created man in his own image and placed him in the Garden of Eden, which was very beautiful. There was neither man to till the earth, nor rain upon the earth, and yet with the mist that God caused to go up the earth, watered the whole face of the earth, and the plants and herb grew. The man who was formed by God with the dust of the earth became living soul when God breathed his breath into the nostrils of the man. Every tree that grew was pleasant to the sight, and every fruit was good for food. There was a tree of life in the midst of the garden, and a tree of knowledge of good and evil. A river went out from Eden to water the garden and there it parted into four chief rivers known as 1. River of Pison 2. River of Geban 3. River of Hidekel and 4. River of Frat River of Pison surrounded the land of Havala, where precious metal gold was in abundance. There was also Delium and the Onyx Stone. River of Gahon surrounded the land of Cush, also known as Ethiopia. River of Hittikel flowed toward Asher, and the fourth river was Frat, also known as Euphrates. In the midst of entire beautiful surroundings and plenty of gold, was Adam and Eve, placed by God to enjoy their life and rule over God's creation. Whatever Adam called every creature, it was the name thereof. The only work that man had to do was to dress the garden and keep it. God knew what was good for man and what was not. He made a woman with Adam's rib, and Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh, she shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. The Lord commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden he may freely eat, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil he shall not eat. Eating thereof will result in death, said the Lord God. This is how Satan deceived man. The serpent, who was more subtle than any other beast of the field, deceived the woman with his enticing words. One question that Satan asked the woman, keeps repeating in everyone's life from the time of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden until this day in the present age on this earth. It was a very tricky question, and the woman quickly fell into the devil's trap. The question was, Yea, has God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? The woman did not understand the snare, rather the woman quickly got into it, never to get out of it, unless God helped her and her husband, who took part in the woman's failure. The conversation between the devil and Eve, shows up how Satan trapped whole mankind into committing sin by transgressing God's law. The serpent spoke to Eve, and convinced her that God did not tell the truth. The woman yielded to the temptation of the serpent. She saw that the tree was good for food and pleasure for the eyes and thought the tree would give her intelligence. She took of its fruit and ate and also gave to her husband and he ate it. Alas! The eyes of both of them opened and they knew that they were naked. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons, Genesis 3 7 KJV. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden, Genesis 3 8 KJV. Adam and Eve hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God Jehovah Elohim, who called the man and asked him where he was. The man said he feared because he was naked and hid himself. God demanded an answer from the man as to who said to him that he was naked, and questioned if he had he eaten fruit of the tree, which he was asked not to eat from. The man blamed woman and the woman blamed the serpent. The curse from God followed. The Lord God cursed the earth for man, the woman with pain in her child labor, and God cursed serpent that the serpent would crawl all the days of his life. This resulted in Adam toiling for food. Woman who was in Adam and who became his wife to be a helpmate was cursed with pain in her childbearing. 
The serpent who was not crawling before became a most loathed reptile on the earth to crawl on the earth his entire life. God put enmity between the seed of the woman and of the serpent. Adam called the woman as Eve, because she was the mother of all living. This is how the sin entered the world. In order to reconcile man to God, Jesus relinquished his glory in heaven, and came down into this world in the form of man and lived among us. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Genesis 3:15. God sent his only begotten Son for our sake. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life, John 3:16. Jesus said, Therefore does my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. John 10:17. For there is one God, and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, 1 Timothy 2 5 KJV. Salvation is free of cost. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb, and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. John 3 3 5. Jesus Christ died for our sins, he rose from the dead and ascended into heaven. He is now seated at the right hand of the majesty and he is coming again soon. This message is written and brought to you by Leslie John. God bless.